Hi everyone, welcome back to your channel I Love Pharmacology and in this session let us learn about the antiviral drugs. So in particular let's learn about the anti-herpetic drugs or anti-herpes drugs. So these drugs will be useful in the treatment of herpes infection. So which are those drugs? So we need to remember the four drugs, four drugs. So which are those four drugs? The first is the acyclovir, second one is the palacyclovir, third one is the pancyclovir and fourth one is the femcyclovir. So among these four drugs, can you identify which are the two drugs which are or also pro-drug in nature? Yes. So the pro-drugs under this group is valacyclovir and the femcyclovir. So let's come into the mechanism of action of these drugs. So these drugs will going to get activated by the thymidine kinase, thymidine kinase to form a product that will going to inhibit the viral DNA polymerases. So basically it requires the enzyme called as thymidine kinases to get converted into the active form which will going to inhibit the viral DNA polymerases. So next is the uses. So these are useful in the treatment of herpes simplex virus 1, herpes simplex virus 2 as well as in the treatment of herpes zoster virus infections. So when we come to the dosage forms, the acyclovir is available in the form of oral route, topical route as well as in the form of IV injections. Whereas the pancyclovir is available in the form of only the topical route. Whereas the valacyclovir and famcyclovir, they are available in the form of oral route. Next, coming to the toxicity. So usually whenever these anti-arpetic drugs are given through oral route, it will going to cause a side effects like the nausea, vomiting, headache and the diarrhea. So in particular, the acyclovir, when it is given through IV route, it can increase the risk of renal toxicity as well as the CNS toxicity. So this was all about the anti-herpetic drugs, anti-herpetic drugs. So if you find this video useful, please do subscribe to my channel I Love Pharmacology and do not forget to share and hit the like button for more updates on pharmacology. Thank you.